Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to edit a podcast recording i.e. two tracks, an interview track and a music bed. So we're going to start off our tutorial today in Adobe Audition and we're going to import our tracks in so we're just going to click on the import sec import folder within the files window and select the two files we want to import so our mp3 backing track and our interview press ok we're going to convert our project now into a multi-track project because we want several tracks and we're just going to click on this little multi-track function here and it's going to ask us to label the project so we're going to label it podcast edit and hit yes because I've already got a copy of that and there we go so we've got a six track podcast six track multi-track recording I'm just going to label track one interview and track two music bed as you can see it's six tracks and the seventh track is the master fader so we're just going to drag our music track onto the music bed and convert the file yes please and drag our audio file our interview onto the interview track and we're just going to shuffle click on this button here to zoom out completely lovely and we want to shuffle the interview track along a bit so we can just listen to the music now to edit the volume on the music track we want to do a bit of um, automation. So we want to click on the down arrow next to the read and the volume automation appears. And we want to click R for blade or click on the blade at the top. And then this little zoom function at the bottom down here where my mouse is clicking now. Or we can use option end to zoom in. And we're just going to zoom in a little bit and we're just going to find out where the music track stops. And that's perfect we're going to fade our track out there I, I quite like it fading out there and it'd be nice for the audio to come back in so we're just gonna remove the middle bit where we've made the first cut and just shuffle our audio along and check out the recording and so on the automation we're going to draw two nodes click and click and just drag down and then on the interview we're going to click two nodes click and click and just drag down Hello everyone. Welcome there we go. So the challenge on trial. We've just faded in our track, our interview, and faded out our music bed. So they sort of crossfade as one. And we're just going to slide all the way to the end with the remaining music bed. So just click on the music bed and slide all the way to the end. Now there is a quicker way of doing this, but we're just going to be take our time and slide it all the way to the end. So we're just going to go a little bit faster right to the end like that perfect and we're going to line that up to the end of the track and we're just going to remove a little bit of the end of auditions track because we don't want the interview popping at the end now we can slide the oh, music bed along a little email. I would love to hear from you don't for forget to and we're thinking us. why is the music bed not playing it's because we've actually turned the automation off so we're going to do two nodes again and bring it up to zero db just there lovely I would love to hear from you don't forget to join I'm bringing that in a bit too loud until next time take care so let's play that back there again questions concerns or comments contact me directly via email I would love to hear from you don't forget to join us for another episode thank you for listening until next time take care perfect that's working out really well because the music bed's slowly getting louder as the interviewer is finishing off their conversation. So that works really well. We're just going to draw two nodes just where we think the bass, the beat's going to drop, and it's a nice fade point just there.
I'm just going to bring the track in a bit. So that's it. Click and drag it at the end so you can see that the cursor changes and perfect. So that's a nice little fade out. So we're just going to click on this little zoom out icon. That's our full track with full automation. Lovely. We're going to do a full export out now. So we're going to do Command A just to make sure we've selected all our tracks. And we're going to go to File, Export, Multi-Track Mixdown as Entire Session. And it's going to ask us our session is going to be saved as a WAV. We're going to save it to our desktop. We're going to save it as a WAV PCM format. And we're going to press OK. Now, before we press OK, it will set it as a 32-bit floating because that's what we set the multi-track to. Uh, see a previous video on how to change that. So wait for that to bounce out. Once it's bounced out, our track is on our desktop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.